What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and what we're going to be talking about today is the top three Town Hall 10 attacks right now in the current meta of the game. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here is the very first attack that we're going to be taking a look at. One of the strongest attacks right now at Town Hall 10 is Dragons. In this video, we will be showing you guys a few different variations of Dragon Attacks. They do come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, this one right here is using Zap Quake. We'll go ahead and take a look at one more Zap Quake attack. And we also have one using a kill squad, using a CB kill squad. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at Tadpole taking on Matthew S. from Annihilate, uh, doing it with Zap Quake. Uh, and especially uh, the meta, as the meta was changing, we were seeing hogs for quite some time. And it has been a while since we've come out with one of these meta attack videos. Uh, but as you guys know, the as the bases change and adjust to the meta, that's when brand new attacks start showing up. So as you guys have seen Zapquake before, uh, we have not seen it at the rate we are currently seeing it right now, especially with how these air defenses are laid out. Uh, we went ahead and got one air defense with his queen from over the wall, set a funnel with his king to keep all the dragons inside over at three o'clock, zapping the inner air defense and having a beautiful Lalo. And another thing, we're not seeing it as much. It it's still prevalent, but we're not seeing clone bone uh, using that clone spell on the back end as much as we were before. Again, it is still around, uh, but we're seeing a lot of different variations to dragons. Make sure you guys are practicing with dragons, practicing in these FCs. As we see Tadpole wrapping up this three star uh, against Annihilate using Zapquake Dragons. Let's go ahead and check out another example using dragons right now at Town Hall 10. All right, guys, here is the next dragon attack that we're going to be showing you guys. Uh, again, dragons right now in the current meta. And if you guys look at the weight of this base, other than cannons, other than cannons, this is a fully maxed Town Hall 10. But of course, with dragons, cannons aren't doing a whole lot. So very similar to Tadpole's attack. Notice the king down here at 6 o'clock. His job is to funnel all this trash. And the queen's job, if you look where she's at, She's taking out an archer tower, taking out that air defense over there at 3 o'clock. And um, Anga went ahead and did a zap quake. Two lightnings, one quake to take out that inner air defense. And you see, again, similar to Tadpole's attack, we see these air defenses on the back end right here where he's going to be doing a Lalo. Uh, on this attack, he is bringing eight dragons. He has 13 balloons that he's going to be using, bringing some balloons with the dragons and as well as with the Lalo uh, when he starts that. And you see a baby dragon just trimming some trash up there at the top. These balloons right here, their sole purpose is to grab any traps. You'd rather have a balloon hit a trap than a dragon, especially something like a Seeking Air Mine. He's going to go ahead and fan these dragons out, uh, pathing very nicely through this base. Notice they're not peeling off. They're staying inside the base where he wants them. Here comes the Lalo on those two air defenses. And I'm telling you guys, at Town Hall 10, we are seeing a lot of bases with this air defense layout to prevent something uh, like a Sui Hero Lalo, which can make it often very difficult to Lalo uh, when, you, when you have these air defenses and you have all these other defenses not having um, where these defenses are not being tanked by the hounds. Uh, so that's why bases are getting set up this way. However, something like a dragon attack, we are seeing completely wreck these bases, just like we saw Anga taking on Gobslayer, wrapping this one up with a three-star swagging an archer. That is another example on a much heavier base than the last one we just saw using this insane zap quake dragon attack right now. Let's go ahead and look at one more dragon variation before we get into the next attack strategy. 
All right, guys, like we said, the theme of this first uh, best army right now at Town Hall 10 in the current meta is dragons, but it's in, it's uh, like I said, they're coming in all different types of strategies. Check out what Alex is going to be doing to Destroyer. Uh, checking out another FYSB attack. He had, he's bringing a golem to this attack. Gonna be taking on these four air defenses. Has four rage, has a jump spell as well. Uh, has uh, some wizards just trimming this trash, making sure uh, that his golem is going to be going inside the base, making sure both of those heroes go inside of the base as well. And if you guys have, if you guys don't believe it yet, I don't know when you're going to believe it. Dragons right now are red hot. Whether you're doing the clone bones, whether you're doing uh, a variation of Zap Quake, uh, whether you're just doing uh, dragons with a, a Lalo on the back end. Or whether you are doing something like this, we're using a CB kill squad with a jump and a rage to take out four air defenses, getting all kinds of value from these bowlers. Uh, so you basically have doing a, a, a golem bowler kill squad, completely wiped out that whole uh, right section of the base. And you can already see he's trimmed a bunch of trash over here. Again, making sure those dragons stay inside of the base. You have to funnel dragons like you'd be funneling any of these other troops. Same way you'd funnel bowlers. Uh, you do not want your dragons splitting up and going all sorts of crazy all around the outsides of these bases. Uh, and this is a fully maxed base, you guys. And these dragons are just pushing through. Notice he did have maxed uh, level 7 balloons coming out of the CC. Hasting them in into all those archer towers. And a rage uh, just ended up completely wiping out this base. Uh, taking advantage of this base layout. And again, being fully maxed, a fully maxed tier five base, guys, getting taken down with dragons. So that was the, the first couple of attack strategies that we looked at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the very next one that we're seeing coming back to Town Hall 10. Stay tuned. All right, guys, the very next attack strategy that we're going to be covering, we just recapped the different uh, dragon variations that we're seeing right now in the current meta. The next one, this isn't something new, so to speak, but it is something that we have noticed kind of creeping back into the meta, and that is variations of bitch, uh, variations of bitch attack coming back into the meta. Uh, the first time we saw it, again, where we didn't see it for a very long time, was when we had our arranged war against Elite Gaming, uh, where three out of their six 10v10 three stars were using this very attack you're watching on the screen right now. And uh, this is Queen Walk Bitch, uh, where you have four witches and five bowlers on one flank. You got four healers with your queen on the other, uh, funneling each side. You have one golem going in, 12 bowlers behind him. You got two jump. You got two rage. You have a heal. Uh, often you'll bring two poisons. Sometimes you'll bring a poison for the enemy CC and a skelly spell for that inferno tower on the back end. But often what you're looking at uh, is when you have wizard towers on one side kind of clumped on one side that the queen can reach or uh, wizard towers that are in the core that your bowlers and your golems can take care of and uh, where you're going to be obviously starting your queen walk opposite of the air defenses and the inferno tower compartments uh, pretty much need to be reached by uh, your king. So pretty much two jumps to lead through a majority of the base. But I'm going to tell you guys, Elite Gaming was using this attack strategy on bases we would have never even thought, never even would have dreamed of using uh, the attack on. And they were completely wrecking. They wrecked our number, uh, our top town hall 10 on the map. Absolutely powerful attack right now creeping its way back into the meta and we'll go ahead and show you guys one more variation i had to try it out for myself ending up in a three star using queen walk bitch let's go ahead and check out one more attack using this strategy and i already know i already know what you guys are saying what i already know what you guys are gonna be saying down in the comment section below I already know you guys are going to be saying, but Riggs, uh, that Queen Walk uh, bitch attack, that's only working on the lower weight bases. That base that you hit, that was just a lower weight base. You guys try telling that to Captain Oates, a.k.a. Captain Crunch. Check out this base, guys. You tell me. You tell me if this is a low weight base. We're going to go ahead and hit play and watch how Captain Crunch is going to be taking out this base right here. 
using that queen walk bitch, using one golem, just like how I did on my attack, going very heavy on the bowlers, using seven witches, seven witches in this army comp, you guys. Uh, you can see starting over here at three o'clock, down here at six, dropping down that uh, couple giants just to help tank that archer tower while the golems, the witches, and the skellies go to work. So here comes the golem coming down. We have a jump spell leading uh, the troops in right here, and you're going to see another jump spell going down to lead into that big open core right there in the center. Here they come. Uh, you have queen coming up behind, and again, different variations to... The, the similar attack strategies. Mine was a straight up queen walk bitch. This one, he has healers on the side, similar to almost Town Hall 9 style, where he has a healer just healing up these flanks. And over here on the left hand side as well. Uh, but this attack was red hot for a very long time at Town Hall 10. It went away for months and months and months and out of nowhere uh, like i said in my first attack until we saw elite gaming uh using this attack on us three of their six 10v10 triples were using queen walk bitch or a variation uh where you're using it where you're using those healers on the witches as opposed to the queen and you can see just ended up completely demolishing this base. And again, a lot of these bases, you're, you can send your queen in because there's not, because a lot of these bases, these top level, uh, uh, top tier bases ha often have soft CCs to often prevent something like a dip. So you can send your queen in with the main push. Uh, and you can see right here, Queen's going to take out Inferno Tower. Nothing but a Tessa left. Still has about three witches up as well. Queen surviving the raid. And we're seeing, we are seeing a surge in bitch attacks coming back to Town Hall 10. Let's go ahead and check out one of my personal favorites. Stay tuned. All right, guys, the third and final attack strategy that we are going to be covering is, you guessed it, Sui Hero Lalo. This is, this is similar to, uh, Sui Hero Lalo at Town Hall 10 is similar to, at, at would be, like a shattered or a stoned hobo at Town Hall 9. This is just one of those attack strategies that has not gone away for I don't know how many metas. And we're going to be showing you guys two attacks, both of them coming from York, uh, from FYSB, uh, using the uh, Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, so again, we're going to be checking out two different attacks uh, that he will be demonstrating, also using the Skelly spell. As you guys can see, Queen is smack dab right there in the center of the base. He is bringing five wall breakers, and it's pretty much all about overpowering a base, getting the most die you can with just your heroes. Sometimes you'll bring a giant for additional tanking, but for the most part, you're setting a cheap funnel with often a baby dragon and or a wizard or both. Uh, breaking in, you want to, sometimes you're looking to get an Inferno Tower, if, it, if it's possible, taking out an Air Defense, if not two, getting rid of things like two or more Wizard Towers, and, and what's most important is setting up a defense pathing, uh, defense path for the loon. So as you can see, he broke in right at about 11 o'clock, already took out two air defenses, already took out a couple cannons. Can he get that expo down in time? Absolutely. And look at the pathing he set up for the loons, got two air defenses, got an expo, all for what? For the price of a baby dragon, both your heroes... Uh, and five wall breakers, absolutely incredible value. Drop pre-dropping three haste. Uh, he did have a camp hound and a, and a hound coming out of the CC uh, to those to those first two air defenses. One coming from the bottom, and again he did he did pre-drop those haste. Nice rage pushing all those loons into the core uh, where he's meeting an air sweeper. Uh, two air sweepers, uh, Tesla, an Expo, and you can see he had a heal spell covering both of those wizard towers. He didn't take out any uh, wizard towers on this example of the Sui Hero Lalo. He did have one more rage to push those loons to the uh, last few defenses left, being the wizard towers and one archer tower, but that's usually what you look at. Uh, you're usually bringing one, if not two, skelly spells. You're bringing a heal 
at least a heal, uh, a rage, and anywhere from five to seven haste. If you're bringing five haste, that means you have two rage on the map, uh, like we did in this attack right here. Just an incredible Sui Hero Lalo uh, from York hitting on Han Solo and ended up completely wrecking that base. Did have that wizard tower up. But the pups and the minions were able to get it done. We'll go ahead and look at one more example using Sui Hero Lalo. All right, guys, here is the next example that we're going to be demonstrating on how to execute Sui Hero Lalo looking at the top three attack strategies in the current meta right now. Covering Sui Hero Lala, we have York demonstrating yet again. And, and if you guys haven't noticed the theme, we have two themes going on in this video at the same time. Uh, notice the first attacks that we've been showing were on lighter weight Town Hall 10s. The second attacks that we've been showing uh, on each one of these attack strategies have been on fully max defense Town Hall 10s. So you can't tell me, oh, these attack strategies only work on the lower weight bases. That is not true. We are demonstrating, we are showing you guys that it's working on the low weight bases and the fully max bases, just like how York's going to be showing us on this one right here. Um, again, using Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, the other theme of this is they're all the same attack strategies, but none of these are cooked. Every, every base style is different which means the the troops and the spells can often vary as well. It's the same attack strategy, but with slight variations, which we've been demonstrating all throughout this video. Same thing here. So on this attack, notice the spells are the same, uh, but he's bringing a bowler to this attack. He does not have a baby dragon in the troop uh, composition like he did in the last attack we demonstrated. Uh, he's got 28 balloons, two hounds. One's going to be flying out of the CC, and he does have that bowler. We'll wait and see how he uses that we'll go ahead and hit play and see what value he gets from uh his heroes a couple funneling troops and again he has five wall breakers that he's bringing to this attack so with one wizard uh he already knows where the king is going to be going uh he's going to be clearing all this trash to make sure that the queen goes inside uh to start a nice defense funnel for the flight portion of this attack being very patient uh with his king goes ahead and pops ability right there as the cannon is still being tanked goes ahead and drops down his wall breakers and there's nowhere for his queen to go but inside the base goes ahead and wipes out the cannon the uh he's gonna go ahead and get that air defense notice this he's not trying to get the inferno tower with his queen uh that inferno tower is out of range but it's all about setting up the defense funnel for those loons now he can directly target that inferno tower with his balloons he's gonna go ahead and drop uh, about six if not seven balloons goes ahead and drops one and a pre-haste notice all the traps that balloon's gonna pick up that balloon just picked up a seeking air mine and um a, a red bomb goes and drops down a CC hound and a camp hound dropping about going very heavy on the initial deployment. Notice up there at about two o'clock, he drops those loons nice and early to take out that mortar to make sure. I mean, even similar to a dragon attack, you want your balloons to stay inside the base. You do not have, you do not want them wrapping out around the base, trying to get a mortar, trying to get a cannon from over the wall while wizard towers and air defenses and inferno towers are raining down on them uh so starting very heavy very heavy on the initial deployment and notice his balloons are constantly moving through the base uh there's no dry spots he has haste and rages moving these loons from one side to the other ended up smashing this fully max defense town hall 10 harder than the first attack that we looked at when it was uh, a a lighter town hall 10 again demonstrating how powerful these attacks are and of course i hope you guys enjoyed the attacks featured these are the top three attacks that we are seeing right now uh, all across cwl these are the top three uh 10v10 attack strategies in the current meta right now we took a look at uh, variations um using dragons we've looked at a couple different attacks using uh bitch making its way back into the meta we did not see it for a very long time making its way back wrecking fully max town hall tens and of course 
revisiting Sui Hiro Lalo, an attack that has been around for a very long time and for very good reason. Uh, and again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, and and uh, any comments, questions, or concerns, leave those down below. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.